Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about Modbus Monitor XPF software that you may want to try. Why? Why add another simulation tool to your arsenal? Hopefully I'll show you the Modbus Monitor XPF software is worth checking out. Before discussing the Modbus Monitor software, let's discuss a big picture with industrial monitoring software. Let's say there are a few temperature sensors in your home that you want to monitor. In a real world production factory, this can be pretty significant amount of sensors. These devices in your home or production factory are doing their thing. You want to obtain data from these devices and periodically monitor their health. How do you do that? These devices communicate in a variety of languages. Modbus is one of the most common protocol around industrial and commercial sensors. This protocol has remained a top choice for decades due to its simplicity. I am pretty sure R2-D2 in Star Wars can speak Modbus. R2-D2 is out of our reach to monitor this device. However, we can buy a software that can speak Modbus protocol and easily design control panels so humans can interact with it to get the data they need. Generally, this is accomplished via HMI, a human machine interface. In addition, the software can be used to monitor a huge number of devices. The category of this software are known in the industry as DCIM, HMI SCADA, BMS. HMI is a human machine interface, an industrial touch screen monitor. SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, the computerized control system at the heart of modern industrial automation and control systems. BMS, Building Management System, is very similar to SCADA system but has a different application such as controlling buildings internal environment. SCADA or BMS are sometimes linked to access control like turnstiles and door, energy and power monitoring systems, security system, fire alarms, elevators. So at the end of the day you just want to monitor or control few devices using your favorite SCADA, DCIM, BMS or even Android phone. And you want a simple software that helps you get the data from devices or troubleshoot your communication issues. This is where Modbus Monitor shines. Modbus Monitor and it's great for beginners as well as experts. Those who wants to learn about the Modbus protocol can do so by monitoring the Modbus packets in the communication log. Professional users can use it to simulate the devices using various communication protocols. Scenario number one, you need a monitoring software. You have a device such as PLC, a power meter, or a solar panel inverter. You also have a device's Modbus map, but are unsure how to pull the data out to configure the device. The Modbus Monitor XPF has a client mode so you can pull the data or configure your device. The client mode can talk to one or multiple devices and use various forms of Modbus protocols. The client mode can be configured to pull Modbus TCP or UDP devices and Modbus RTU devices. Quick Modbus example. Quick Modbus traffic monitoring. Details on using the client mode are discussed in other videos. Scenario number two. You need a device simulator. You don't have an access to a physical device, but you do have an access 
to a Modbus map of that device. This is very common during initial development for professional developers and they need a way to simulate a device during a development of their SCADA software. So it will be ready on time. The same scenario can also help validate the future software releases in a simulated environment to find any problems. The Modbus Monitor XPF also has a server or Modbus Slave more integrated. This is an advantage over other apps. There is nothing extra to buy and the same Modbus map is used in a client mode. Once the Modbus map is set up in the program, the server and client shares the same map. Server mode can be configured to send the data in Modbus TCP or UDP or Modbus RTU devices. Note, the Modbus TCP server and Modbus RTU server can be used simultaneously. In other words, Ethernet and serial ports can be enabled at the same time. Quick Modbus RTU over TCP server example. Quick Modbus RTU server example. Quick Modbus server traffic monitoring. We'll discuss how to use this mode in the future videos. Give Modbus Monitor XPF application a try. It is available in Windows Store and here's how to get a risk-free 30-day trial version. Go to modbusmonitor.com and click Windows Store link. You can also get the app from Windows Store on your computer. Alright, this is quick look at Modbus Monitor XPF Windows software. Hope you'll give it a try. Let me know down in the comment which videos would be helpful to make next. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Alright, this is all I have you for today. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.